Hey folks, welcome back to a very damp Lancashire. Oh, what a night to come out. I thought I'd come out, have a do with these badges, because <coughs> I'm not having much luck with these, to be honest. I mean, I, I watch a lot of people taking photos of badges and they, they're coming out in daytime. These, they're a nightmare. They just, they just won't come out when it's, when it's light. So, I mean, I've... I had some red lights on the other night and I, one of them came out just as it was going, you know, light were going off. So, all right, we're no good. Anyway, I've just, I've just changed tack, to be honest. I've just moved um, to a different location and I've been trying to clear a bit of a path to, the, to where the, the set is. Where the badger came out, it came out on this top opening and, um, you know, I assume it's favouring that particular hall so I can I can see directly to that now but I've I've been pulling these out and I don't know if you've got them in your area but they're a nightmare it's Himalayan balsam and it's it's an invasive species it's a I mean you can see how easy they come out I mean we have um, we have a few groups around here and they go out you know a big group of people and they go out specifically pulling Himalayan balsam out because it it just chokes the ground up and it has these little seed heads and when, they, when they're ready, you just brush against them and, and they pop like that. And then it spreads hundreds and hundreds of seeds and they, they just stay in the ground dormant. And then the next season, they're up again. And you can see, I mean, this woodland is absolutely, you know, it's, it's just full of them. So I've just cleared a bit of a, a, bit of a path and I can see, uh, I can, <laughs> I can see the, the, uh, the entrance to the set. But anyway, as promised, I wanted to just run through these two trail cams because I've had these two trail cams down on this particular badger set so we went through them didn't we that's a CMOR uh, that's a CY60 there we go cracking camera I mean they both work really well really well and the ape man and that is the which one's this that's the H80 now I'm not too particular about you know fantastic you know 4k footage and um because i'm i'm never gonna i'm never gonna print any pictures off off the actual trail cam footage I mean, all i want to know is whether it can pick up you know animals and birds that are going past and then just record it and then i can take it back home have a look on you know on, on the computer and i know whether there's stuff knocking about that's the only reason i use trail cams so it doesn't really matter to me the fact that it's 4k you know and it's you know however many megapixels uh, all I need to know is that it picks them up and I want to know the you know the the field of view and, and what kind of you know view I'm getting both of them they work fantastically well uh, the ape man this one is a narrower field of view this one the CMO it's a you know a wider wider pan if you will so what I'm going to do I'll put the I'll put the footage up off the CMOR now and you can uh, you can have a look what that looks like and the kind of field of view that you get And then what I'll do now, I'm going to put the footage up from the ape man. man. 
you can see that really nice footage um, you know it picked up badgers fox uh, raw deer as well and they both work fantastically well a couple of times the badgers came out and they just you could see they were looking at the camera now whether they're picking up on these infrared sensors i don't know but you know it was no i think they you know after a, a few minutes they kind of got used to it and just ignored it but they've had a right good degging as well so both of them really waterproof you know there was no water ingress and they're just dead easy to use you know i would recommend with with any trail cam to be honest getting some rechargeable batteries because depending on you know how much footage you're picking up it'll fill a memory card up and it'll it'll just polish the batteries off so you know you're putting eight eight batteries in at a time it can get a little bit expensive so it's just worth you know worth contemplating getting some uh, some rechargeable batteries but like I said, both of these have been sent to me and I'm not going to recommend one over the other. I'm going to let you have a look at the footage and let you decide, but push came to shove, I'd buy both of them. They, uh, they are really good, you know, that's just got a, that's got a wider angle of view, that's got a higher quality image picture, uh, the Ape Man, but it's a narrower field of view. So depending on the situation, you know, you might be on a narrow path or, or like on here, you might be on a badger set and you might want a you know quite a wide vista if you will to see what's what's knocking about but they're both excellent cameras they are really good so that's it for this one it was uh i was meant to do it a few weeks ago and uh, you know I've, I've been on with all sorts of stuff uh, it's a busy time of year isn't it for photographers um so that's it thanks for watching thanks for the patience and waiting for it uh, it was only a short one but you can see the the footage they're both cracking cameras and uh yeah we'll see you on the next one see you now